Hi, I'm Brick Road, and I don't, I don't have any water. Jesus Christ! You would think this is my first Let's Play. You know, I'm gonna do this all on the chair. What the hell is the problem? Okay, now that I have something to drink, so when my vocal cords dry up, I can moisten them again. Hi, guys. This is Ducktales Remastered. I didn't do this game last year when it came out because uh, I didn't have a way to record in HD, and I'm like, what, why am I going to do an HD game if I can't record in HD? But now I do, and so I'm going to do it. And uh, I actually went back and forth in my head on whether or not to do the quick cinematics or not, because on one hand, it's like, they got the entire original voice cast back, and it's like, you want to show some respect for the dedication to their craft, but on the other hand, I don't want to sit through them. So, But we're going to compromise. We're going to turn on the quick cinematics, but we're going to let the cinematics play whenever they do pop up. So, here we go. Let's get into some DuckTales Remastered. Let's do it. Alright, starting out here on Scrooge's Money Bin. This is the, uh, the new level that they added for when they remastered the game. All the old levels are back in remixed form, and the Money Bin is like your new tutorial level. Um... So you'll see tutorials jump up over the screen. Oh yeah, there was supposed to be like a little mini-boss fight here, but because I've got the quick cinematics turned on, it just skips it entirely. Yay! Now, they have a feature in this game where instead of in the NES version you have to hold down when you pogo, um, you can just hold one button to pogo, and I'm like, oh, that's really fun. You know, it makes, makes the game a lot easier to play, more user-friendly, but you can't use that feature on the highest difficulty setting, which I'm playing on, which is extreme. So, I don't know, it doesn't make the game any harder, really, it just makes it more obnoxious to play, just like in the NES version. But it's something I can live with, I just missed my two treasure boxes up there. I'm gonna be broke at the end of this game, at the rate that I'm going here. Ugh. So yeah, there's really not a lot to talk about as far as the gameplay is concerned. If you've watched my other DuckTales LPs, or if you've played this game yourself, or if you just played the NES games, it is exactly the same gameplay. They did not, WayForward did not try to reinvent the wheel here. And I missed another gem. Um, and I mean, like, good on them for it, because the gameplay in this game was so solid to begin with in the NES version, it's what keeps people coming back to it year, years later. It's such a fan favorite. And with really good reason. It's got really fun core gameplay to begin with. You don't have to mess with the formula at all to get something playable in the modern era. I know a lot of people were turned off by the graphical style in this game when you have like the 3D levels but you have the hand-drawn HD sprites. Um, I guess I can kind of see that point, but I thought the graphics looked beautiful the first time I played this. Like even before I played it, when they just had the uh, the trailer out, the extended trailer, uh, I watched one, maybe the giant bomb guys, I forget now. But they basically went through the Transylvania level of the game and it just looked magnificent, like my jaw dropped. And then when I actually played the game, some of the boss fights in this game, some of the bosses, the way that they're drawn and just how huge they are and how much of the screen they fill up, really makes the whole DuckTales game come alive. I was very pleased uh, when I first heard that WayForward was making this, and actually, that information came to me right after, like a few days after my friends and I recorded one of the Let's Racing Time videos. We did the Disney Afternoon Race, where we raced DuckTales and Rescue Rangers and Darkwing Duck and the Little Mermaid all together. And like four days later, they announced they were making this, and I'm like, man, I hope Way Forward makes a lot of money on that, and then goes back and remakes Chippendales Rescue Rangers and Darkwing Duck and The Little Mermaid, which, as of this recording, has not happened. But I don't know. Christmas is right around the corner, you know. So yeah, that was the tutorial level, and just like in the original Ducktales, we have five levels to go through and five treasures to find. We were going to go do that in the next video, so I will see you guys here.